Good afternoon and welcome. Um, we are starting with our short webinar. Uh, I hope everybody will be brought in by Zoom. You know that uh, the Zoom brings in people in 10, 15 seconds uh, once they are admitted by the host. So uh, let's wait for another way, uh, minute, uh, another second or two, not a minute. So at the very beginning, welcome all. And uh, just to introduce myself before I start uh, with the uh, presentation. My name is Nenad Filipovic. I'm uh, the uh, Director of Executive Education here at, at IDC Blight School of Management. I'm in charge of the YMP program among many programs that we have. And uh, we shall spend roughly about uh, one hour together and uh, uh, start uh, uh, we will talk about the young managers program um, we will go through its uh, features and uh, we will also i'm very happy that just something went on here let me restart the sharing um, Hopefully now it will work. Good. So um, we will we will uh, we will uh, uh, have a pleasure of also hosting uh, to our former uh, YMP participants, uh, our YMP alumni, Anastasia and Zala. Um, I will introduce them a little bit more uh, in 15 minutes from now. But let me let me first uh, speak a bit about the program itself, uh, how it looks like, uh, why we have designed it the way we have, then share the experience of our alumni, and at the end, uh, Simon, our education specialist, will uh, say a few words more about the enrollment process, and we will be open to any questions that you might have. Uh, now, when talking about uh, our portfolio of programs, uh, why are we having them the way we, we have organized them? As you can see on this slide, um, we have placed the Young Managers Program at the very beginning um, as a possibly first systematic interaction between our executive participants in the school. And then uh, for those uh, of them who would like to further develop themselves. We have further programs like general management program or the MBA program, even the doctoral program. Uh, the young managers program possibly has a slightly deceiving title. Uh, we call it historically young managers program, but uh, it is actually the program for um, everybody who is uh, young in terms of managerial experience, not necessarily in terms of age, uh, so, as I will tell you later, we, we believe that people coming to it uh, are those who are really trying to get the first understanding, the first uh, level of managerial competencies. Why they would consider coming to our school, as all the programs that we have, I think uh, on the one hand side, it is about a different experience of education. Many people have gone through universities, uh, got their formal education in a very traditional style. Um, le professors who lecture, uh, possibly some ex education which is based on experience exercises and so on. Experience in our school is very much based on the experiences uh, that you get in the classroom, that you get through communication with uh, the colleagues, uh, working in a very interactive way, as I will say, a bit later, but uh, the education in our school is not aiming at knowledge only, it is aiming at giving uh, broader competencies um, which are valuable for success in business and managerial careers. It, it, it requires a bit of uh, different curriculum, uh, innovative curriculum. I will say again a few words more about it. It requires a different learning process. And what I think is also an advantage for our school, it gives participants uh, access to a large network of alumni of our school, uh, which is global and which can also be available part of career building uh, for people. Um, the average age uh, around 30, as said, not necessarily the youngest, 
quite a few of them have some business experience, five years or more. Uh, it is an international program. Uh, we do have it uh, often. We have people from more than 10, 12 countries in the classroom. Okay. Uh, always a majority of uh, participants are coming from other parts of the world, not from Slovenia. And uh, we cover different uh, functional functions within the company. So people come from backgrounds from marketing, from R&D. Uh, majority would be uh, technical background, some also business background in terms of education. Now, let me spend a bit of time here and I would start with the idea which is governing our school, and that is what makes a, a person in business successful? What kind of competencies are required also for starting the managerial career, even at the basic managerial positions? What are the things which are necessary to be developed? And let me say that we see it as a, a tripod, as having three dimensions. One is certain level of professional know-how, being able to understand the numbers. Uh, be, uh, numbers in business are important, uh, financial numbers and like. Understand uh, the market and communication with the market. Understand how projects are run. So having a certain dose of professional know-how in different areas of business. The other is broader business thinking. It is about strategy. It is about understanding the customer's thinking, uh, being able to be customer-centric, uh, being able to fine-tune the relationship between the company and the markets. And then the third dimension, of course, are people. Uh, being able to lead people, because as managers, we do certain things ourselves, but more often than not, uh, we actually do things through other people. We have to motivate them. We have to delegate things to them. We have to be able to uh, make sure that uh, they do the job well. So create a space in which can operate. And it is about leadership. So uh, the YMP program, although of course it is a short one and within 10 days, it is extremely difficult to uh, go in any depth on any of these dimensions. But we are talking about these three things. We are talking about uh, professional side, uh, for example, uh, monitoring the business and understanding the numbers, uh, for example, communicating with the markets and understanding the customer. We are talking, uh, for example, having the communication skills which are necessary in business. We are talking about the business side through strategy, uh, through markets, and we're talking about the leadership side. At the end of the day, as you will see, we have a bit of an, let's call it exercise, where we try to bring everything together. And by the end of the program, participants are competing a little bit with each other uh, on solving a, a complex business case and proposing solution, uh, trying to come up with best possible solution of a complex situation. So as short as it is, it does cover different areas and it gives the basic set of managerial competencies for the people starting in that position. It's a very interactive, very dynamic environment. Uh, we um, bring real life to the classroom through the case studies, but also through the discussion that we have uh, um, participants use their own experience and they learn from each other as much as they learn from the professors. So it is not just sitting there and listening to the lectures. Um, it is engaging in study groups, in smaller groups. It is engaging in class discussions. Uh, it is finding your role within the team because teams change over these 10 days and one has to be able to adapt. Uh, it is role playing and simulations exercises of different kind. In a way, what we try to create is not just a stimulative, um, energetic environment, but also an environment which is safe, where one can try new ideas, one can uh, make uh, uh, learn from failures, which is much more difficult than uh, uh, if you are in your own company, where failures may be sometimes expensive and your bosses might react negatively to you experimenting. Here, 
you can experiment with the ideas, you can try, and you can learn. Uh, we try to boost uh, different sets of things. Uh, competence is like understanding the business situation because managerial job does start by framing the situation, understanding the business situation, understanding what is required in it, finding the key information about this situation, uh, not only numerical in terms of numbers uh, about uh, finance or about market, uh, also qualitative, how people react to something, what are the sentiments, what are the feelings? And then coming with uh, better equipped uh, with the ability to make good decisions, understanding the decision making process and uh, being able to uh, come up with good managerial decisions and then implement them. Uh, implement them through the teams, through the cooperation within the teams. Um, being able to communicate these decisions or uh, being able to co communicate your business ideas or dilemmas uh, up and down the organization. And at the end of the day, doing it in an international environment where cultural backgrounds may be quite different as they will be in the YMP program where people do come from uh, different parts of the world and uh, different cultures of organizations or functions. I already mentioned we have uh, quite a large alumni network. We have clubs around the world with more than 5,000 members. Um, when we look at uh, who was in the YMP program, uh, people came from more than 70 countries. So this is, I think, uh, an excellent starting position where one can, uh, through the program, create new, net uh, new uh, friendships create a, a new business network and call colleagues from the program, check your ideas with them, uh, sometimes even uh, calling for a support of emotional nature where you need not any new idea or any recommendation for something, just need somebody who will be sympathetic and, and understand the challenges you have and give you support with them. As said, I would like to uh, use the opportunity of having to, uh, together to, with us today, Anastasia and Zala. Uh, not only they were both in the YMP program uh, at different times, uh, Anastasia four years ago, Zala last year, but uh, they do come from very different environments, um, not only in terms of countries, but also in terms of uh, size of companies they work with, um, industries they operate in. So I think they are fairly nice, uh, although they are only two, they are fairly nice uh, representation of the diversity of people we have in the program. So uh, let me ask uh, Zawa and Anastasia to unmute themselves and uh, to present themselves briefly, maybe Anastasia first, if we go uh, by the order of alphabet, few words of, of your course. background, few years, uh, few words uh, uh, about yourself uh, and the company you work for. My pleasure. First of all, thank you so much, Professor, for this introduction. I am very happy to be here today and to see you after so many years. Uh, my name is Anastasia and I'm the head of business development in the IT a company uh, in Poland. So basically, um, I work with uh, robots, with robotics technology. Uh, and, uh, uh, well, I would like to say that this, um, this program gives me a lot of energy for my future career, but most likely I will tell a little bit more in details later on. Thank you very much, uh, Zala. You are not with robotic company, I know. No, I'm, I'm not. And it hasn't been so long since I've been to YMP program. It was only in September last year. Uh, but since then, quite a lot of things have changed. I have moved to my new role as HR business partner. Yes, I'm working for Generali Insurance Company here in Slovenia. But we are part of the group Generali that is, we are around 70,000 people all around the world. So we are the part of the multinational company. 
Um, and in my work, I work mostly with managers, with other HR business partners. And right now I'm like not non-formally coordinating a small team of internal coaches, education officers, and also HR business partners. So in short. Thanks. Thank you. And maybe to start with you, Zola, uh, it has only been a, even less than a year since you've been in the program. But I guess when you look back at your IBC experience, uh, you, you still remember the YMP. What are the things that you remember fondly, which you kind of like remembering from the YMP? Uh, I do remember it quite vividly and also uh, just yesterday I was uh, in a conversation with my colleagues from the, this uh, last year's program. So we are still um, in a great relation. So uh, this is probably one of the biggest things that you gain from the program. Yes, of course, it's like it is, it is an exceptional learning path because you work on real business cases with the really great lecturers that are not just academic, but also really practical and have a lot of great uh, practices and great experiences um, along their way. Uh, and this is one of the main things. But the other one is that um, you are there in Blade, if you can imagine, for 14 days straight. It's really an intense program. Uh, you get in touch with uh, around, I don't know, 40, 50 different young talents, professionals who have also have really similar challenges on their ways as you do. Uh, you connect with them, I think, on a, on a much deeper level than we would connect if we just met like once per month. Uh, and even now, when I like when I reach like some uh, uncertainty or maybe a rock on my way, um, actually, Nina, from September to now, it has happened not once but more time that I take I've taken out my notes from the September <laughs> YMP and I've checked actually what I, I thought about the topics, what I've heard about the topic, and if I was were still uncertain, I called one of my colleagues and said, please. Can you discuss with me? Can you really exchange the views so I can get to uh, the goal faster and get like more perspective on things? So, yeah. Thanks. Uh, Anastasia, uh, for you, it has been almost four years since you've been with us. And uh, I guess uh, although things kind of uh, fade away, some things stay. Did, did, uh, could you put your finger on anything valuable in the program that you think served you well in these four years of your career in between? Well, I would not say that memories faded away because uh, for me, it was really life-changing experience, I would say. Uh, on our course, there were people from 17 different, different countries. So it was a really great opportunity, not only for cultural exchange, but ha for having a really intense two weeks block of a huge knowledge uh, most of the sessions um, I could say that I implemented in my work life with great success uh, I was really happy to work with use cases of big industries big uh, players and learn on mistakes and successes but the strategical session was the most life-changing for me I would say that after this course also my career changed dramatically when I came to IDC, I was business development manager. And in half a year after I finished, I was I started looking differently for the business processes for international markets. I became global business development director. Uh, and I actually described in myself a huge interest in uh, informational technologies in new, uh, in new technologies on the market. So I relocated to Poland and had uh, this uh, had uh, the business development of this robotics company. So actually, I would say that was a huge impact on me personally and the drive and the energy which I gained from these courses, it is with me till today. Um, Anastasia, you, you had to move from, you had, you decided to move uh, uh, to Poland, which uh, actually meant not only changing the industry, but changing the uh, language changing the environment in which you're working the culture um, what, what what did you find as the biggest challenges for you in this change period and was ymp preparing you for any of them well i would say that the biggest challenge was the difference in the market perception 
definitely different lookalike audiences and different target groups, they very much differ depending on the culture as well. So talking about YMP experience, this is a great opportunity for the global manager, for the multi manager or a manager who is working in the big organization, overseas organization, because during the conversation, you are not only able to talk to different uh, participants from different countries. Uh, we even had some from the South Africa during the course, as far as I remember, but yeah. also talk about the life cases of different companies and different industries. It was the most valuable for me because I could feel how strategies compared on business processes of different markets are applicable or not, and how it actually differs on the life cycle on the company. So definitely, yes, it was crucial for me to have this understanding. Uh, Zal, I have a question for you because some people have uh, an assumption that in HR function, uh, it's a very professional uh, environment where a lot of professional knowledge is required, including psychology and so on. But uh, somehow that there is less need for having the overall business understanding. Mm -hmm. um, I, I personally don't agree with that. But how do you see, again, your, your HR business partner role and where in its professional component uh, did YMP help you? That's true. That's actually the challenge I faced myself because my background is psychology. And uh, although it is organizational psychology, it's still, um, I didn't have much business overview before I started to work. So in this part, um, YMP was really uh, a great experience and impact because I gained the like strategic point of view that helped me also understand where our company positions itself and what is the vision that it has. Um, um, and also this helps me with my role of HR business partner because HR business partner are supporting the, the business and in certain areas that I work in, I, I'm supporting claims, marketing and internal HR. It helps me understand better what are their needs and how am I in the best way can assist them and help also their um, departments grow. So uh, combining my background psychology and YMP program, I think this is something that really goes together well and helps me a lot with my work. Thanks. Uh, now, uh, you, you are relatively, uh, as I said, uh, close to the time when you were deciding to join the program. I'm not, uh, I, I really don't know the details whether you were kind of sent by your company, asked by your company if you would join or whether you showed any initiative yourself. But um, all of us have this choice at the end of the day, even if the company tells us go there, we can say, well, I don't have enough time or I don't think this is the right opportunity for me. When you were thinking about enrolling into the IDC, anything going through your mind, why did you say, yes, I'll go there? Actually, this was discussion between me uh, and my manager, HR director of our company. Uh, actually, I was super, super happy that she saw this potential in me uh, to see that um, I was the one who will have this opportunity actually to, to join the YMP. I saw this really as a great opportunity. But you know, with opportunity, I always say you, um, you gain as much as you give. And I know that I, 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 took, I took the ownership of this opportunity to get as much from it as I, um, yeah, as I could. So mm -hmm. Good. this was the discussion that we had but before I, I went to YMP. Well, I, I, I do hope a majority of people in your company think like that, uh, because I think that is the way uh, we should think. By the way, although companies may pay for the program, uh, it does require time being set aside. So 15 days, uh, very intense days, and uh, that, that is a personal investment one has to commit to. Anastasia, you, you, uh, how did you learn about IDC and uh, why did you decide to join the program? Well, actually, I learned about IDC from the founder of um, my previous employer that was international uh, entertainment company. He was a uh, long time ago. Uh, also the uh, alumna of uh, IDC and uh, he now in a very good um, connection with uh, Professor Donitsa 
actually, I knew IEDC uh, very well at that time because we were hosting Russian uh, alumni clubs at our place. And when I knew that I will have this great opportunity, I was more than happy because I knew what is the value. And of course, when your employer gives you this opportunity, you value this a lot. You understand that this is um, a lot of trust, a lot of investment that your company gains to you. And actually, that made me really motivated to spend seven amazing years in this company, growing this business together and actually uh, to join alumni clubs in uh, Russia and now in Poland after that. So, yeah, I could not even doubt in this decision when I heard about it. Good. Thanks. Uh, by the way, for all the people watching this short webinar, uh, if you will have any questions, just place them in the Q&A and uh, we'll try to answer them. Uh, Anastasia, uh, a question may, I think, I, I personally find quite legitimate and not easy necessarily to answer. Uh, different types of businesses uh, may require different competencies. Uh, one can be extremely successful in a small entrepreneurial company and then be less successful in a large company or vice versa. Uh, you have been operating in two entrepreneurial companies by now. Uh, um, so, uh, being familiar with that kind of experience, uh, what do you think YMP can offer to people coming from small companies or even being self-employed? Well, talking about one-man companies and startups, uh, I think this program can be extremely helpful because that's, uh, I would say, a bigger amount of personal responsibility compared to a large enterprise level organization where organizational structure itself is not that flat. Working in the flat organizational structure and having kind of free maximum four board members as we're having at my current company gives me more responsibility and uh, brings me to the point when I have to make important strategical decisions here and now, talk about global expansion or uh, deciding about the new markets entrance. So those are decisions um, which actually uh, we were taught to do at IEDC during YMP courses because we were talking a lot about strategy. We were talking a lot about setting corporate goals. So this is exactly uh, what is crucial during the fast uh, piece, the environment of the startups. And of course, if you are self-employed, if it is a one-man company, it's even more crucial, even more responsible. Mm. Thank you. Uh, Zala, you come from a completely different animal, let's call it like that, from a huge global company. And I know that sometimes uh, people who plan to come to the, or would like to come to the YMP, also have to convince their bosses to let them go, <laughs> to convince them that such a program can be useful for the employees of large companies. What would be your arguments? How can you, how would you convince your boss now? Now that I've been a part of the experience, I have to say uh, YMP helps you build really good foundations because you know in everything foundations are important, but also um, it gives you like great helicopter overview. If I'm really practical, um, I think that sometimes young professionals, young managers uh, struggle with this operational part. They struggle, they micromanage, they get really into the details and often lack like wider pers perspective. And as Anastasia also said, um, it helps you uh, build goals of your team. So uh, to get that strategic point of view helps you find focuses of your team and align the goals of your team and your goals with the vision of the company. So I think foundations and then the helicopter view, these are the two main points. Mm -hmm. uh, now, you were with us uh, last year, uh, you, uh, already during the pandemics, and uh, I, uh, in these days, uh, a lot of people question themselves, should they go for education? Is education now something that uh, makes sense to have it now, or should be postponed for once things uh, come down? Uh, any, uh, any answer? Education can never be postponed. It, it's 
as you said, as you were saying that development can be postponed, of course not. Um, I think that we have to take the best thing possible out of every situation. And even if the last year's YMP was like a hybrid situation, it was made the best way possible. I still don't think that I like anything that any other previous generations had. Um, mm -hmm. And I think even in this time, it's even more important to get uh, to get uh, to start your development um, because things are changing fast. We have to be really flexible, and uh, this this time also, yes, you learn a lot about the flexibility. Yeah. Uh, by the way, for everybody, Zala used the phrase hybrid. Uh, and uh, the way we at IVC, when we speak about hybrid seed, uh, it's a situation which these days I think is becoming uh, quite normal for us. And that is that some participants are in the classroom and some others are online. Uh, by the way, this year it will be like that also. Um, we got the permission at the moment to have a YMP program organized face to face for those of participants who can uh, travel or who are allowed by their companies to travel, I still would assume that uh, some, not many, but some for different reasons would stay in their countries or in their companies and, and attend online. Uh, but although it's possibly seen as uh, unusual, I think Zala, your experience is it, it works. Yes, it does. And um, I've learned a lot, um, I'm also, uh, working on educational part and training uh, managers and training employees. And I've learned a lot about uh, doing these hybrid uh, situations from, actually from you, from this YMP. Thanks. Uh, yeah, um, Anastasia, if you, if you look, if you still recall uh, the intensity of the program and uh, the way you were interacting with your colleagues, uh, was it just... Uh, how to put it, uh, a, a lot of pressure, or was it also fun? Well, first of all, I would say that it was very, very intensive. Uh, and uh, mm, on top of the studies, which we have really intensively and daily, also, there was a lot of home tasks that we were receiving daily. So I remember myself in the middle of night studying. I remember myself uh, during the weekend, uh, the only one weekend which we had studying like 24-7. And over there, you describe the passion of learning. This is actually something that you are becoming addicted to because the problem, uh, the program is so interesting. It is so involving all the participants. On top of that, you are not working as a self-starter, but you are also working in the team. You communicate with other participants of your group. You are um, following the similar goals. So it's a kind of mm, fun, education and passion at the same time, I would say. Good. Yeah, um, I think uh, my philosophy is education should not be suffering. So uh, stretch, yes, but uh, fun, absolutely. Uh, Zala, any advice you would give to people uh, who prepare themselves for possibly coming to the program? Um, is it possible really to uh, hope to be able to work? Um, you know, uh, read your mails uh, in parallel of uh, discussing in the class? Or we should block the time 10 days for the program and that's it. Yes. I advise you that you take this opportunity really with both hands and um, yeah, put your focus on uh, the education part. Also, I would like to say, don't try to commute to Blade every day, because I think this program is too intense to put also this burden on. And also because um, it's not nine to five. The, the real uh, fiery discussion starts at five and lasts uh, all mm -hmm. afternoon and even sometimes in the night. And this is the, the part that I, I really, really would like you to have because it's also as important as the, like, the formal part. So don't commute, put your focus to the education uh, and take the most of it, it uh, as you can. So you, you gain as much as you give. Thank you very much. And uh, thank you both for joining me. Uh, I am very grateful and I do wish both of you also 
success in your future careers. And I would like to remind you that, uh, as I showed on the chart, you know, um, after YMP, maybe one day consider MBA. By the way, uh, that's uh, one of the quite uh, interesting developments for us because quite a few of uh, YMP participants and also uh, attending our MBA program. The advantage, of course, they know us. The advantage, we know that they are good candidates because we learned about them. So I'm looking forward to our further interactions through the alumni club, um, your visits. Coffee at Bled is always great. And uh, of course, hopefully also seeing you in any uh, other of our programs. Uh, Simon, if I go back to the presentation and uh, hopefully technology will work, uh, share. Uh, can may I ask you now to uh, take over and uh, say a few words more on the uh, enrollment process? Sure. Uh, thank you, Nenad. Um, let me just say hi to everyone and let me thank you for, for joining us today and especially to our guests to share the insights. Um, I would like to share, like Nenad said, a few additional points about the YMP program and basically the process of, of uh, joining us at BLED. Um, and I would also like to encourage everyone to basically reach out to me, which you will get uh, uh, the contact details later so that we can have a one-to-one -one chat and basically we can, we can clear any, 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 any reservations or, or, or questions you might have. So basically, um, as you understood, the program is intended for talented people. So not necessarily for young, but those who, um, who either have recently accepted a certain position of leadership, let's say project manager or team leader, or will do so in the future. So basically it's, it's for those who are kind of like uh, um, on a trajectory going up with their, with their career. On, um, so basically I would say that age, as Professor Nanat said, uh, is not necessarily the main indicator if this program is suitable for you uh, or for your colleagues. So, but I'm happy to discuss this uh, on one-on-one. -on, -one. on the other hand, um, we do require certain experience, uh, working experience here. It says a minimum one year. If it's two or three, that's even better, but not, like I said, it's not necessary. Um, and we do desire a certain level of, of good English because obviously the program is run uh, in English language and we want you to understand and be able to participate. So this is kind of like a must. Um, and like I said, if you have any doubts, anything, you can, uh, you can reach out and we, we can have a chat. Uh, part of the application, as you can see, is basically to fill up the, the submission form online. It's very simple. You provide the details and then we'll, we'll get in touch with you. And, uh, and as you can see, very like uh, another part, which is kind of like important is to pass admission interview. Here, I would not... Um, emphasize the word pass. Basically, it's, it's regarding an interview with our professor, so either Nenat or someone else, that kind of like tests your motivation and basically your English level, and that's, that's the whole thing. Um, just, to, uh, just to mention the point that uh, basically there is an early bird uh, application uh, possible till 29th of May, because the program does start uh, this year as well. I think we have a question from Mariana. On this topic. So the program starts on 29th of June and runs till 9th of July. And up to the point of 29th of May, we have a better, uh, more affordable uh, application fee for uh, those who will, who will join us this year. And I'm very happy that uh, Professor Nenad already shared that uh, we'll be able to have you all on BLED and hopefully everyone can travel and, uh, and this pandemic situation is kind of like behind us uh, soon. Um, that will be all from my side. And uh, if there's any other questions, I encourage you to, to type them in the question box and we're happy to answer them. So now you can see also my details and uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna follow up with the email to everyone who joined us today so that you can get my, my contact uh, as well. Thank you very much, Simon. And uh, as uh, we are nearing the end of uh, this short presentation of our YMP, uh, if anyone else uh, has any question, please feel free either to send them to Simon or place them now uh, through the Q&A button. I know that uh, working on Zoom uh, requires a little bit of the um, time for questions uh, longer than if we are in face-to-face -face environment. Uh, so I'll wait for another few seconds uh, if there will be any more questions.
But if not, I would like to thank you all for being with us. Uh, special thanks to Anastasia and, and Zala. As said, I not only am grateful for you joining us today, I'm even more grateful that you came to our YMP program. I'm happy it worked well for you and I'm looking forward to staying in touch with you both. Thank you also, Simon and the organizers. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to meeting more people in our YMP program this year. Have a nice day. Bye.